Welcome to Practically. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at refactoring using iEdit in SpaceMax. Here we've got a simple project, and we're going to uh, change one of the simple names uh, because, as you can see, it's quite cryptic. So this is a game for rock, paper, scissors. And rather than RPS, we want a more meaningful name, so it's, the code's a lot easier to read. Uh, so we can use uh, hash or star and it will fire up the symbol highlighting transient state and it will highlight all of the uh, instances of where this name, this symbol appears and we can scroll through it uh, backwards and forwards with N and P we can check to see whether it's highlighted all the names we want if it's got extra ones in that we don't want we could always narrow down uh, to the uh, particular region or particular uh, function that we wanted Okay, so now we've got them all highlighted, we can edit them, we can press E. This opens up the iEdit uh, controls. And we can now edit in place all of the instances of this symbol all at once. So we just use our normal uh, Vi commands to, uh, to do the editing. So I'm just going to press A for append, and then rock, uh, paper, uh, scissors. And you can see it's updated all of the instances of RPS to the new thing. I've made a mistake, so I'm going to go back and correct that. Uh, and so I can do any of the editing I want to while I'm still in the, the red eye edit mode. And then when I've finished, I can press escape. Uh, that takes me out of the Vi uh, insert mode. Escape again, and that takes me out of I edit mode. Uh, and I can press save. And now I've just done refactoring with inside a buffer. Thank you very much for listening. See you next time.